So today I want to show you how you can buy an online business on flipper.com. Before we start, really important, you will find the link to flipper.com down in the video description and it will directly take you to the right page and at the same time you're helping me and my channel to grow. So thank you a lot if you're using my link. And once you've clicked on it, you will land on this page and here you can already see that Flipper is kind of legit. They helped over 100,000 online businesses to get acquired globally in the US, in Europe, Canada, China, India, and so on and their main focus is online businesses so you can either sell your website your amazon store your e-commerce site or even your software as a service your crypto your blockchain your domain your app for android or ios your service agency your digital agency or your marketplace so whatever you can do to make money online it's pretty much for sale here on flipper.com but of course the main ones are SaaS, software as a service shopify amazon and social media media channels like YouTube. I would just be interested in SaaS for now because SaaS is quite lucrative because the profit margins are quite nice. So I clicked on SaaS and now it gave me all the listings. It pretty much works like an online shop. So here on the left, you have your assets group and your filters. So you can just select different ones here and then you can just start browsing through. So here are, for example, a SaaS business for general knowledge and they want over 10 million USD. So that's quite a heavy SaaS business here. It's based in California, United States, and they give you some more information down here. But let's see a cheaper option, maybe maybe like this one here. This is also a SaaS business, also based in the United States. Their net profit is 57,000 per month USD, and their asking price is 2.1 million USD. They kind of reduced it. So at the beginning, it was 3 million USD they're asking for, and now they reduced it. Honestly, I didn't know that this was a thing when you sell your business that you get a discount on it but of course it's something you sell so this can be discounted like a house or like a product and down here you see the multiple so it's a 3.1 multiple on the profit or a 2.2 multiple on the revenue so you can have the net profit per month so times 12 then you get it per year and then times 3.1 and you will end up at 2.1 million that's how you calculate it the business is 19 years old and and so this is just a brief overview at sales subscriptions. And if you want to get more in detail, you can click on view listings and then you will have some more information down here. And of course, they don't show you everything because these numbers can be quite interesting for a competitor. And that's why you need to sign an NDA disclosure agreement or you subscribe to the premium plan of Flipper and then you can skip the NDA queue and you directly see these uh, numbers. To be honest, this is not quite interesting interesting right now but if you are into SaaS then you need to sign the non-disclosure agreement and you can directly see what kind of SaaS business are for sale because most of them are asking for an NDA because the listing price is quite high. That is somewhat different if you go to the e-commerce niche so if we go back to this page and we click on Shopify, so we want to sell an, uh, buy an online shop, then we see also some confidential NDA agreements you need to sign beforehand, but the asking prices get cheaper. And let's browse through and see if we can find one without any NDA agreement. These two were without anyone. But let's see this one, for example. Here you directly have the website, yambibio.com, and uh, they're asking for 218,000 USD they are in the health and beauty niche and uh, the site age is over 10 years old and we can go ahead and click view listing and they will give you a lot of numbers like revenue numbers page views about the business when it started and maybe they have some other brands here as well what were the revenue numbers and then you can just see their whole listing you can also see who's selling it so a guy from the philippines and you will also see the amazon and google analytics and you can really tell then that this is a legit business yeah so this is the listing you can see here the google data the engagement stats how many page views they have so they connected their google account you can also see sem rush which helps you to get an estimate on the seo performance of the business so they do 
domain authority is 29. They have over 3,000 referring domains, over 146,000 backlinks, and they're ranking for over 21,000 keywords. So that's quite good because it's a digital asset and you want to have your business ranked on Google for different keywords. So yeah, you can just go ahead and look at all these informations. Of course, the more information the seller gives you, the better it is for your deal. Here, for example, you have the Facebook followers, the Instagram followers, and also the YouTube subscribers. So that's quite nice. And they attached more information down here. So they are very transparent with it. But in the end, the monthly profit is 9,000 euros per month, which is not that much if they're asking for 218,000. So you need to hold the business a little longer to get out your investment. For me, I wouldn't be too interested in that because I, it's kind of sketchy. It's based in Italy and a Filipino guy is running it and the net profit is quite low, to be honest. But you can go ahead and just browse through. For the good businesses, you probably need to sign an NDA because here it's $4.1 million, the asking price. And of course, they want an NDA here signed. But here, for example, they're asking roughly a half a million. And then you can take another look and see what kind of business is that. So they have a video ad here, which seems quite professional in editing and style. So yeah, I would be interested in that. Let's go ahead and see the revenue numbers down here. You can see what their annual profit is. It's a roughly around 100K. Their primary expenses are, of course, Shopify, Google Ads, Facebook Ads. So they're mainly spending on Facebook Ads. So it's a social brand. And of course, if you're buying the business, you should be familiar with Facebook Ads because otherwise you're missing your main channel of acquiring customers. So Facebook Ads, I would really look into it beforehand because, uh, for example, me, I'm really good at Google Ads, not as good on Facebook Ads. So for me, this business is not too interesting. But yeah, just go ahead and browse through. You have SEM ratings here again and kind of their setup, Shopify, Google, PayPal, and see how many followers they have. So for example, this business has quite a lot of following on their Instagram account. You can just go ahead and click on it. And then I would personally browse through the followers to see if they are fake followers or if they're real people fitting the brand, if they're like women interested in shoes and if they are based in the country they're saying they're based in. So yeah, do your due diligence. And another good part about Flipper is they have two ways of acquiring businesses. If we go back to the homepage, you can either just click back or as said, you will find the link down in the description. And here on the main homepage, you will see that they either help you to just buy and sell the business. So they give you some advisory and brokerage fees, of course, but they don't do much more than that. So the main deal is between you and the seller, but they can also add some services to your deal. So for example, they have payments and escrow services so that you have a secure payment of the fund. So if I would transfer a million dollars, of course, I want to make sure that it works. They help you with legal stuff for merger and acquisition. And they also help you to finance the business. So of course, some of you might not buy it from your own money. So you will get a loan from a bank and they will help you to get some financing. And they can also ensure this trade because every transaction has some risk. I mean, brands can lie about their following. They can lie about their income and so on. Of course, you need to do the verification and due diligence and the assessment. And they also help you with that. But you can also in the end have an insurance to lower the risk in the end for your transaction. And what I like most about the platform that they also have some brokers. So they have real personnel on the site. So here you can see they have Alejandro Martin in Europe, probably in Spain. They have Amber Burke in the USA or Anna Luisa Werner, probably in Germany. So, but also in Australia in Asia in Europe again in Asia. So these are people helping you broker the deal. So that's quite nice that they are on site and you can always schedule a call with them. Just go ahead and see if they are available and what kind of business do you want to operate and if you want to buy it or sell it and they will help you to advise the and broker the deal which you are buying here over Flipper. And so yeah, this is basically Flipper. It's a platform where people list their businesses to sell. They want to get rid of, for example, their SaaS business or the e-commerce shop and you are here to buy it. And once you've found an interesting business by, for example, signing the NDA here for the SaaS business, then you can take a look at it and then you can have them helping you to broker the deal or you can insure the whole thing or finance the whole thing with their services attached to Flipper. If you have any questions, just feel free down here, down the video, you find the comment section. You can just type in your question. If 
If you're down there, please give it a thumbs up. It helps YouTube to understand that this was a good video. And if you want to start, please, please, please use the link to Flipper. It will help me because I might get a small portion of the deal which is done on Flipper on your account. So thank you a lot and good luck doing business there and uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.